Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a heart attack, and cardiac arrest claims over 350,000 lives each year. But do you know the difference between the two? Join me as I dive deep into the world of heart health to uncover the real differences between a heart attack and cardiac arrest. Heart attacks and cardiac arrests are often used interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. This mix-up can be really confusing, especially when it comes to understanding what kind of emergency is unfolding. Many people think that a heart attack and cardiac arrest are essentially the same, just with different names. Some believe that a heart attack is just a minor issue, while others think cardiac arrest is another term for a massive heart attack. These misconceptions can lead to delayed or incorrect responses in emergencies. The truth is, understanding the difference between these two conditions can literally be a matter of life and death. When someone experiences a heart attack, they might still be able to call for help or receive treatment that could prevent further damage. But in a cardiac arrest, every second counts and the response needs to be immediate. If you or someone you know is experiencing heart problems, knowing the right steps to take can make all the difference. The problem is, the signs and symptoms of heart attacks and cardiac arrest can be subtle or easily mistaken for other conditions. So, now what is a heart attack? A heart attack happens when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked for a long enough time that part of the heart muscle is damaged or dies. This is often caused by a blockage in one or more of the coronary arteries. The symptoms can include chest pain, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, and pain or discomfort in the arms, back, neck, jaw, or stomach. While cardiac arrest, on the other hand, occurs when the heart suddenly stops beating. This can happen due to a variety of reasons, including a severe heart attack, electrical disturbances in the heart, or other medical conditions. The symptoms are immediate and severe. The person will collapse, may convulse, and won't respond. Now let's talk about the treatment options available. The treatment for a heart attack often involves getting the blood flowing again, either through medication, angioplasty, or other interventions. The medications used in heart attacks include altoplase, streptokinase, aspirin, clopidogrel, beta blockers, and nitroglycerin. For cardiac arrest, CPR and using a defibrillator are critical to try and get the heart beating again. A defibrillator is designed to monitor and restore normal heart rhythm during life-threatening arrhythmias like ventricular fibrillation or cardiac arrest. The bottom line is that while both conditions are serious and need immediate attention, they require different responses. Recognizing the signs and knowing how to react can save lives. So, to sum it up, Understanding the difference between a heart attack and cardiac arrest is crucial because it can help you respond appropriately in an emergency. Both conditions are serious and require immediate medical attention, but the actions you take can make all the difference. If you have any thoughts or experiences with heart health, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our other health-related videos for more insights and information that can help you stay healthy and informed.